Placings are also complete in the milking class at the International Air Show Show. We would first like to recognize our junior award winners. Second place junior, entry 1823, Scolo Reality Missy, exhibited by Adam Ludwig and Levi Banowetz of Epworth, Iowa. First place junior, entry 1817, Old and Lazy Next Time Warn Me, exhibited by Kenzie Emery of Sullivan, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class and first bred and known, entry 1815, Stony Acres Burdette Magic, exhibited by Zemers Stony Acres of Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Placing second in the class, entry 1824, Good View Rainy Beth Ann, exhibited by Palmyra Farm, Hagerstown, Maryland. And the winning entry and first best daughter, entry 1821, Maple Dell Dreamer Destiny, exhibited by Susan Edwards and Donna Mertz of Blair, New, New England. Judge your comments. Well, quite a nice group of milking yearling heifers here to start the Ayrshire show. And the longer they're out here, we feel the cow at the top of the class. She comfortably earns that placing. She's a cow that just overwhelms the class with the height and the width to her rear udder, and she uses that advantage in her udder to place over the cow in second. The first cow, she also wears her udder higher above her hock, being especially more youthful in that udder. And she also has the advantage in having so much more front end being taller in the chine with more depth to her forerib and width to her chest than the cow here in second. Second over third, it's on the dairiness and the openness about her. She's a more sharply made individual, being especially more lean over her chine, having more depth, more sweep, more openness and spring about her rib than the cow that follows here in third. Third over fourth, again, a cow that we feel just has a bit more dairiness and flatness about her conformation. She's cleaner about her hock, She's got especially more style and cleanliness about her rump structure, having more width between her pins and also the way that tail places more neatly between her pins. Additionally, we also give her the advantage in the forerunner, especially on the right side, to go over the big powerful cow here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, it's primarily on her udder. She shows us so much more definition to her udder cleft today, and she also shows us a bit more strength throughout her loin than the cow that follows here in fifth. 